Hello and welcome back to the stars everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at the hard target, the premier sniper rifle of Starfield and probably one of my favorite guns both in terms of looks, in terms of feel, and also in terms of gameplay just out of any of the weapons in this game. So for the base stats of the hard target this one does a whopping 116 damage per shot which is e extremely high. That is one of the highest amounts of damage out of any of the weapons in the game uh, let alone the, the sniper weapon like this. This one fires the 50 cal caseless round, which is the same one as the Lawgiver, and that is the only other weapon that it's competing with. And this one vastly outpaces it, like just in every roll. The I don't think the Lawgiver really does anything better than the hard target, even in like a hip fire battle rifle roll. The hard target can still be very good, so it's not really competing with anything else for ammo once you actually have a hard target, which is kind of sad for the Lawgiver, but kind of nice for the hard target. This holds five rounds in it by default which is okay, that's not a whole lot of rounds, and this one does actually have a decent rate of fire, at least for follow-up shots, so five rounds can be a little bit limiting. This one does have 25 rate of fire, which is pretty high for a sniper rifle weapon like this. It's fast enough to be hip-firing this and using it kind of in a battle rifle roll, although it's not as fast as some other weapons. Something like the Beowulf still might be a better option for that roll, but this one can still fit that roll pretty well if things do push up on you quickly. This one has 100 meters of effective range. This is tied with the longest range in the game and the damage drop off doesn't really matter with this one because it already has very high damage and you're likely not going to be shooting at things too much further than 100 meters the majority of the time in this game anyway. So it should do full damage on almost all of its shots. This one has pretty high accuracy, a very high accuracy compared to some of the other weapons and can go even higher than this, something that you would want in a sniper rifle. And this thing weighs a ton, weighing 9.15. It is a very hefty gun. It is a very expensive gun though, and you're likely not going to find hard targets just laying around. They are pretty rare throughout the game. For the general pros of the hard target, this does extremely high damage per shot. This has extremely long range, two things that you would definitely want in a sniper rifle, and this thing has really good mods. We're going to be talking about that in just a second. The two cons to this weapon though are that it's heavy, it weighs 9.1, so it is a very hefty gun. And with mods this can even get heavier, so... Uh, Titanium build is actually not too bad to find on the hard target, and this is also a very rare gun, meaning that you're probably not going to find rare, epic, and legendary versions of the hard target. This is another weapon that I've never found a legendary version of. I have found some epic versions and quite a few legendary versions of it, though, too. Some of them being pretty good. I mean, honestly, if you get instigating on this thing, or if you get uh, large magazine on this, then this thing is uh, basically like one of the most top tier weapons in the game. Also, if you get something like rapid on it, it's also really good with that. So basic effects really, really help the hard target. On my rifle tier list, I put the hard target up into S tier and it absolutely deserves to be an S tier. It is probably the premier sniper rifle. It is my favorite sniper rifle in the game, even though I do put scopes on other weapons like the Beowulf. This weapon is just superbly good. Now let's talk about a modded version and where that would go on the tier list. For a barrel, we actually have a lot of different barrels for this one. And I'd recommend one of three barrels for this, either going with the long barrel, the fluted barrel, or the bowl barrel. All of these are good in their own way. They all give you more accuracy, they all give you better stability, and then some of them change from there. Where the long barrel is kind of basic that you can throw on here and it's pretty good. Bowl barrel makes it so you have even more accuracy and stability than the others, and the fluted barrel makes it so your weapon doesn't weigh as much. Your weapon is still probably going to go over 10 weight with this thing though, regardless of how you want to build it because just adding the barrel on there does actually make it fairly heavy and then we're going to be adding more stuff to it. But all of those are just improvements over the regular barrel. Even the stabilizing barrel is fine if you want to throw that one on there too. I just don't like it as much as the other three, but all of them are pretty good. Then for a laser, throw the recon laser sight on here if you can. This is the best laser. This marks enemies and it gives you better accuracy. The recon laser is going to be a general upgrade over the regular laser and if you can't get either of them, it's not a huge deal. The hard target is already super accurate. This just makes it a little bit more accurate. So bullets are going to be moving around a little bit less and it can help with the hip fire. Then for an optic, we actually have some really good scopes here. This already comes with a medium scope by default, which is fantastic for the sniper perk. Sniper perk gets you more damage if you have a scope. And I recommend that you put a scope on here. Either keep the medium scope on there, which is what I did. You can put the long range scope on here if you like, or the recon scope. Any of those are fine. They all give you more damage. The, the long scope gives you the longest uh, sighted range. So if you want to be using it at very long range, you could do that. If you want it at closer range than the medium scope or the recon scope would be better. This does have a reflex sight on it, but that doesn't count as a scope. So you're just nerfing your damage if you take that. 
although that may not entirely matter with this weapon because its damage is very high to begin with. Then for a muzzle, throw a suppressor on this. The suppressor makes it so you get more damage via the sneak perk. You could also go with the compensator or the muzzle break, but the suppressor is going to be the best option here. And uh, it's just, it's fantastic for a sniper build like this. Then for a grip and stock, be sure to put the tactical grip on here. This will lower the weight of the weapon and it just gives you more improvements over the standard grip. So it's just a straight upgrade, throw that one on there. Then for a magazine and battery, I would recommend one of three different magazines for this. The larger magazine is the one that I'd put on here, unless you have a large magazine hard target. Having five shots in the gun just makes it so there are situations where having like 10 shots is preferable. And that's exactly what this mod does. You don't necessarily need more damage or armor penetration with this, which we'll talk about in a second, but just the base damage of the gun is high enough to hit even heavily armored enemies. Again, if you have a extended magazine hard target as its legendary effect, though, you don't necessarily need to add another larger magazine onto this. The other two options would be armor piercing rounds or penetrator rounds. Armor piercing rounds are going to get you more consistent damage, although the hard target already has very consistent damage. This one will just do a little bit more against heavily armored targets. And by that, I mean very little. So this one, it's also just very easy to throw this one on if you don't have high skills for it. The other option would be throwing penetrator rounds in here so that you could punch through multiple enemies, which can actually be pretty useful with the hard target, at least when fighting like aliens. And you will also get the most amount of damage out of this. So if you want just to hit things super hard, then penetrator rounds is another option that you could have. And then finally, for an internal, we only have two options, which is either high powered or high velocity. I threw high powered on mine. Neither one of these is super necessary for the hard target since it already does really high damage. High powered will get you even more damage. So that's kind of cool. And then high velocity will get you even longer range which also isn't necessary. I think mine with this was going to go up to like 150 meters of range. You're usually not shooting at anything at 150 meters in the game anyway. If you want to, then throw that one on there. This one is totally personal preference. Pick whichever one you want. And with all of these onto the hard target, it is one of the best weapons and probably the best sniping weapon in the game for any sort of practical use. The mag sniper can technically hit harder, but that rarely matters, especially towards the late game where you already have perks for everything. You don't really need extra damage because you're going to one shot them regardless of which weapon you're using and the hard target just has faster follow-up shots and it doesn't have the weird charge animation so i would actually say the hard target is the best sniper rifle in the game and i would put this one up into the s plus tier it is very very good so there is one unique version of the hard target that we need to talk about and you can actually only get this at the very end of the game so you have to be in unity and you have to buy it from the trader in the unity and then you'll get this one. This one is called The Last Breath, which is a very cool name. It, I'm pretty sure there's a rune word of that in Diablo 2, which seems really cool too. I never actually got rune words that high, but seems like it would be really, really awesome just in terms of everything that it could do. This one does have some mods on it and it does have a unique effect. And I believe it's the only weapon that has this unique effect on it by default. So for the mods, it has a fluted barrel. It's got a long scope on it, it's got a muzzle brake, and it's got penetrator rounds in here. Those are all pretty nice to have in this weapon. Penetrator rounds, plus a long scope on here, plus a fluted barrel. I don't really care for the muzzle brake, I'd switch that out for a, a suppressor, and then switch on the tack grip and you're good to go. Oh, and I, I guess a laser too. That would actually be pretty nice. The effect it has is honestly not that great, it has oxygenated. Oxygenated makes it so when you're holding your breath when looking down the scope, your oxygen will go down slower. That usually doesn't matter. I am almost never using the hold, hold your breath mechanic anyway. It doesn't make the gun that much more accurate. And most of the time in this game and just in Bethesda games in general, you're not shooting at very long range targets and just trying to hit exactly where you need to be, nor is the sway all that bad to where at very long range, it can be very difficult to aim. It's very, very accurate with very little sway already on it. If you find that you need to hold your breath a little bit longer, then oxygen can be useful, but this is another weapon that I probably wouldn't go out of my way to get if I could just get a rare hard target with anything else on it, especially if it had like instigating or a larger magazine on it, then I wouldn't really need that. Still really good though, if you don't have that option or if you haven't found a hard target by just going through the whole game and you want to keep playing the game before going to like another new game plus. So I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure if I would take this one other than the name is super cool. The Last Breath is a very, very cool name for this. So should you use the hard target? Yeah, absolutely. If you love sniping, this is probably going to be like your premier sniper rifle or one of them, unless you like uh, maybe the mag sniper a little bit more. 
or maybe you just enjoy taking like the Beowulf or a general all-around weapon, this one is still really, really good. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. Tell me your thoughts on the hard target down in the comments below. I'd really be interested in hearing that. It seemed like when I did the rifle tier list, basically everybody really loved the hard target, and yeah, I can understand why. It looks really cool, it functions really well, it hits really hard, and it's just, it's such a cool weapon overall. It also has really good mods. Anyway, you guys take care, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.